And good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Juliette Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. We'll begin with a live look at Oakland tonight, where just hours from now, Oakland students and teachers will return to in-person learning. KPIX 5's Betty Yu joins us now live from Emeryville with more on what might be a tense first day of school tomorrow. Hey, Betty. Hi, Brian. That's right. Some students say they have mixed emotions about returning to the classroom during a pandemic. And teachers I spoke with tonight say that the protections being offered by the district are simply not enough. The sign outside Glenview Elementary School reads, Welcome. First day of school, August 9th. But not everyone is ready to go back to the classroom. I've been ha having nightmares every night. I can't believe that we have a policy that, you know, basically means we're willing to infect our under 12 children after they've gone through so much. Special education elementary school teacher Ada Reen Hogue says she's requested sick leave and would teach virtually this year. I want all students to be vaccinated. Just wear a mask and cross your fingers. That's unacceptable. Today, the Oakland Teachers Union ratified the safety agreement with the Oakland Unified School District. Highlights include proper ventilation systems, masks, gloves, and face shields will be supplied. Classrooms will be regularly cleaned and disinfected, and the district will offer testing every two weeks. I say right now, tonight, the district needs to postpone opening campuses and open distance learning programs on a mass scale. Special education teacher Mark Airgood says he's choosing to teach virtually. We cannot be sending children back to associate face to face with one another. It's going to spread and spike. That, that's, it's really criminal. The president of the teachers union is personally calling for all members to get vaccinated. OEA, we don't have a formal position. However, personally, it is something that um, I think is it, it, it's necessary. 11 year old Zelma Lopez is headed back to the Ascend campus tomorrow as a seventh grader. She was last there as a fifth grader. I feel excited because I got I get to see my friends and my new teacher. I'm kind of nervous because of the COVID and um, I'm a little nervous to like um, all these rules like wearing a mask. And Governor Gavin Newsom said on Friday that he feels confident in the state's current reopening plans without a vaccine mandate. Brian? Betty, we know that students have the option to choose distance learning instead of in person, but do we have any idea about how many are doing what? Well, at the end of July, the district said a few hundred had opted to do so out of 36,000 wow. students. But the teachers I spoke with tonight say that they fear that number will only go up amid this Delta variant surge. Brian? Right. In Alameda County, that's better you. Betty, thank you.